What's up, my friends? I wanted to discuss with you PDFs, SVGs, um, line art, vectors, and um, an AI, and probably Corel Draw as well. Uh, I'm not as familiar with Corel, but this is something that if you are sent, uh, unusually, if you are sent from the customer quality artwork, you may get an AI fo photo or a uh, file and you're going to be stuck with something like this, which is great. I mean, the quality of, of this one here is absolutely amazing. Uh, we can zoom in and the detail on it is superb. The problem is this was made by a graphic artist um, that, that does not have to consider engraving. This is print, these are layers, um, there are lots of lines, underneath lines, and this is a complete catastrophe for laser engraving if you bring it in directly. So how do we fix that? Basically, we're going to have to turn it into something like this, which is fairly easy to do. Now, let me give you an example of, of why something like this, I mean, this is, the quality of this is top notch. You can't get any better quality than if they send you uh, their artwork in this form. And like I said, it will come in different forms, um, SVG, PDFs. Um, there's a few different options for them to, to send it to you. Um, but let, let's switch over to Lightburn real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And bring it in straight uh, you can see all of these overlaps and you can work with that in here but it's going to take you a long time to to weld things together and have it come out exactly how it's supposed to come out um, it's going to be difficult you know some of the stuff you can use the the letters but as you can see there is a ton of overlapping lines a ton of different colors because they use different fills um, so it's 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 amazing quality, but almost unusable to us as laser engravers that, that aren't thinking in print sense where there's layers and you can't see stuff behind. Um, we have to think of stuff that is overlapping and what can be engraved, and this isn't gonna work. So let's go back to our picture. And the easiest way that I've found, and if somebody else has an easier way, let me know. But the easiest way that I found to do this is to uh, basically start to break it down. So ungroup it. Now, all of these objects are going to be grouped together on different levels. Uh, these, these are all types of layers overlapped. So you're going to have to go through. And what I'm looking for is when I select on one of these, I'm getting the color that I want to remove over here. So right now I'm on an actual line and I have the line filled with black. Well, I want the yellow. I need to remove all of the color. And right now I can't do that because it's still grouped together. So you may have to go through several times just to ungroup all of these layers. So now you see I have a yellow fill and I go in and you you can't really do transparent either because these are layered so once you start going to a transparent you're going to show those lines that are behind so we want to fill in white it's going to be a black and white image uh, and, and that's all we're going to use it for so again here uh, i don't have any color uh, so i can go over here and ungroup and now i do have the color so everything that is green uh, typically, the, a graphic designer is going to lock all of those colors together. Um, these are going to be different per designer. I mean, it, there's no set standard. Um, so just mess around with it. But I should be able to select the majority of these things. And, you know, I might have to go through and do every single grape in there. Uh, but it's still going to be faster than trying to weld everything. And, and again, if somebody knows an easier way to do this, by all means, I will make a video on how to do it. But for me, I have found this to be the easiest way 
to get a PDF um, or, or uh, Adobe Illustrator file or Corel file down to the basics, removing all of the color and getting it correct uh, to be able to be traced by Lightburn. Uh, unfortunately, if I export this as a DXF or, or any other type of file, well, you know, once, once I've created the black and white version just by going through and replacing colors, uh, once I've done that, I still can't export it as a DXF or an SVG or an AI file because, as you see here, you still have stuff that is unwelded. And then stuff that's unwelded and overlapped is avoided by the laser. And I can show you what, what I mean by that. We go back into here, and this one we can get rid of because this is the one that is full color. Uh, this is the one that I edited, but I, I did not um, save it correctly. Basically, I saved it as an AI file and dropped it in here. So you can still see the overlaps. So let's turn this completely black. Now that we have this all one job or one cut color, um, let's see what, what's going to happen. So obviously we have a ton of overlaps, like you have these lines crossing with those lines, and that is a horrible situation. Continue, and let's see, it's, I don't know why it's inverted like that, but when you have overlapping lines, this is what you get. It, it basically negates itself and says avoid that area. Uh, just like if you have a anything on the inside, um, so you had a circle and, and a, an inside circle, uh, do that, and do inward. So now it knows to, you know, the, the laser's coming across, the, the software and the controller knows to turn it on at the start point right here, turn it off at the end point, and then again turn it on and then turn it off. And what we end up getting with something like that is this. So anything that's overlapped, it's almost seeing it as an inside shape that is to be avoided. So let's get rid of these. So we need to avoid that when we're working with PDFs and, and SVGs and, and other um, Corel Draw and, and uh, Adobe Illustrator files. So if you noticed that when I did the preview, and it continues to do that, um, that I don't have my outline. And this is a common issue when, when you trace something in Adobe Illustrator or Corel. For some reason, it traces alternate lines or double lines. And this happens quite a bit, and most people get, get really frustrated and confused about what's happening. The easiest way to tell is one, your line's gonna be darker. So we can see that, um, let's ungroup all of this, ungroup. We can see the chasing ants, right? The ants marching in a line, chasing each other. Over here, I can tell that this line is definitely darker than this one. And actually, you could tell even more so when you zoom out. The reason being is if I click on it, I don't have chasing lines. And the reason for that is there's a line on top of a line. They're identical or pretty damn close to identical. So what I did, let me go back two steps. Um, I selected it and you can't tell that it's selected because you don't have your chasing ants. I'm going to just delete it. So now that I've deleted it, it's still there. Well, now I can click on it because the top layer or the bottom layer or whichever one we selected is now gone. There's only one. And I bet you if we do a preview now, uh, it will show up. All right, so now we have our lines, but we still have a ton of overlaps. Um, basically because we 
you cannot save these without welding them and, and going through a whole big process to make this look correctly. So what is the easiest way to do this? I'm going to go back in here. Whoever designed this already has it layered correctly. And you've already changed the colors for it to work correctly. Uh, so now the only thing to do is to export this, not as an AI image or a DXF image, because you will end up with all of the overlaps. You can see if I select them here, the overlaps are still there. You can see they're still behind the other graphic. The easiest way to do this that I have found is by just exporting it as a high quality PNG. So file, export, export as, and then export as a PNG. Now that is going to be your easiest way after you have removed all of the color from the inside. And like I said, sometimes you may have to select something along the lines of the inside of the eagle's head and do a fill. Now, depending on what you're trying to go for. Um, and then you would export it like that. So I, create, I, I, I convert everything over to some type of black and white, whether it be white fill and just solid lines, because um, I could change that easily in Lightburn. Um, or I, I create some of the black and white contrast areas right here and then I export it as a PNG. Now, now that we've created the PNG, let's go back over here and let me get rid of this one. So here I have the PNG saved and you know it's not going to be as good quality as the line art or the vector that we were given, but it will give us the opportunity to trace it and still have excellent detail. So saving it as a PNG in this format will give you the option or the opportunity to create a true vector that will work for laser engraving, which is exactly what we want to do. We, want, we don't want the pixelated edges of a bitmap or anything like that. We want lines to turn on and off and that is going to be the most accurate and the cleanest engraving that we can get um, but if we do get some type of a pdf or um, or ai file or corel file where there are layers and things are overlapping i have found that this is the easiest way to rectify the situation and still come up with an excellent engraving not only do we have an excellent engraving, but we can change the way this works by ungrouping it. And like I showed you earlier, if we wanted the inside of the eagle's head to be dark, we can just start removing lines. Just, just remember that when you remove a line, you're changing the turn on and turn off point of what the laser sees. And um, we can make this look um, and be shaded however way we want. If we wanted this banner to be black with white letters, it would literally be one line removal. Um, and unfortunately, the curlies on the end will still be normal. Uh, but there you go. You remove one line and you have changed the entire way that this will engrave. Uh, we can do that with the banners as well on the inside changes absolutely everything um, if we just wanted this outside line to be done you know from here to here to be engraved so depending on what look you're going for um, now that we have converted this and traced it we have loads of opportunity and we have a high quality graphic uh, that if we try to bring in the supplied quality graphic we would have been fighting ourselves the whole time i hope this helps 
Uh, if you guys have any questions, please put them below. Make sure you subscribe and uh, let me know what you want to see next. Happy to do some tutorials for you.